Hello everybody, I'm GHG, welcome back to this tutorial series, and in today's episode we are going to take a look at JSON messages. Little disclaimer uh, before I start the episode is that JSON messages make use of packet, uh, packets, and the thing with packets is that your plugin version, so the spigot version you are using, really needs to uh, be the same as your server version. I recommend doing that always, but I mean... If you do not use packets, you can uh, have a plugin that is usable for multiple versions. Otherwise, you need to use something that's got reflection. But I'll talk about that much later when we arrive at that point. Okay, let's get to the coding. As you can see, I've created a new plugin with a simple listener in the main class, or you can also do it in a separate class. And it's just a simple player join event. And what you want to do uh, with the player join event is you want to do an I chat base component and that's like the base component for your nice fancy chat messages and I'm just gonna call it component and it's gonna equal to the chat serializer dot a and that's just uh, to create the I ba chat base components you need to use chat serializer and it's gonna give you a nice little thing and what you want to do is uh, you can do multiple things. I will link uh, down below in the description. I will link to a uh, certain forum post that will explain how JSON messages can be uh, created. And I will also uh, show you some examples over here. So what we are going to do is actually create a text. And to do that, we need to uh, have text over here. So text, I will fix the brackets later. Text, which will be equal to uh, just a simple hello uh, let's say hello and as you can see I need to put uh, those uh, this uh, little sign over here and to fix so because it's now using the first the second the third the fourth and the fifth as um, starting and ending things but I just want them to be included so you do the backslash over there or the front slash uh, at least the one that goes from top left to bottom right and you do that everywhere over here as you can see that will fix all your uh, issues and this will actually give you a nice little hello message if you were to uh, send this off as a chat based component okay before I continue with uh, doing a little complex more stuff like uh, if you hover over it with your mouse it shows a different message or if you click on it it runs a command I'll first show you how to actually send those packets so we first from the iChat base component we need to create a packet that is play out chat so we're going to do a packet that plays out a chat message and I'm just gonna call it a chat packet and it's gonna be a new uh, equal to a new packet play out chat and of course we want to play out our component over here you can see just import it and over here you can see it's not org the bucket the plugin anymore or dot event it's gonna is net the minecraft dot server and then your uh, plugin version that you're using so you may uh, yeah you need to make sure that this is the same as your server version and what we want to do is we want to send it and first we need to get the craft player it's like the base class of a player and so from e dot get player and we want to get the handle which will uh, return the connection kind of the connection and out of that we want to do the player connection variable and we want to send a packet to the player and it's going to be chat packet and that's actually it just if you want to send a message now to the player with a really complex uh, layout just do it like this but this but yeah you can do many more stuff with this okay let's say I now want to have a text that's hello but when I click on it, it will run a command that will uh, broadcast a message on the server. So text hello. What we are going to do is we're going to do uh, oh, we are going to put a enter over here so that we actually know there is our um, text component and this is our um, other component so that we can actually distinguish between the text and the hover event or the click event so let's start with the click event and it's actually called click event and uh, let me see what you want to do is after that you 
create the text over here. Yeah, it's a really complicated in the beginning. Uh, beginning, a, a bit complicated, but once you get how this works, uh, you will just, yeah, you can make it really quick. So what you want to do is you want to put a comma after the hello. So that's kind of like closing off the text part of the, yeah, the iChat base component, your JSON message. And then on the next line, I want to create a new uh, part. And of course, use this to uh, get your parentheses right. Your, I do not know how they're called, those uh, double signs up top. Uh, click event, event. And then what we want to do is do that again. And then like the double dot shows, well, this is the key that I want to change and then the value after it. So what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, new curly black brackets and inside of here we are going to do action action let me type that correctly action and the action is going to be so again uh, this sign uh, run a command uh, this one run load score command and of course always do it with those uh, with the slash the backspace backslash and then a comma and then what you want to do is you want to put the value over here. And there are many more possibilities than I just uh, than I'm just uh, showing over here. And the value is going to be a command uh, broadcast. Uh, let's just do say welcome. If I click on it, I will say welcome. Welcome with an exclamation mark. And then this one, this one, and I will actually yeah generate a click event that will say welcome when I click on it it will not yeah if you click on it it will just execute the command you put over here there are multiple actions you can do I will you can find them in the link below I will link a site as I said a forum post that will just uh, have many more possibilities that I could not even consider doing in one video okay that's it for the click event and now let's uh, do the hover event and of course, again, just put an enter over here, an enter, that's a plus, I'm sorry, enter, to uh, actually show that this is the click event, that's the text, and now we are going to do the hover event. So it's going to be kind of the same uh, layout, kind of the same format as the click event, instead now we are going to put in hover event, and then we are going to do the action, so the action is going to be show text of course because we want to show a, uh, a text message so show underscore text and of course fix it with the the yeah, with the signs with the interpunction correctly and then over here what we want to do is value and the value is going to be equal to click to welcome and then we just close it off like this and we have to close off that one and yeah that's actually how it, let's close it off right <laughs> and that's actually how it's going to uh, look like so this is actually going to work correctly inside of the server and what we can also do is we can format the text so if I want to have text over here and I want to set the color we of course need to uh, do another comma over here so it's going to be um, over here it's gonna do another comma and let's do yeah let's do color and of course yeah put it between the those interpunction things I'm <laughs> sorry and then we are going to do uh, green let's do a green color and that will actually set the color to green and that's how easy or well, easy that's how simple it actually is to make those clickable messages that will show information when you hover over it and you can also pass item stack information in it like lore etc etc you can all find that in the link i'll send you in the description box let's go and check this out on the server see you over there so we're inside minecraft now start up the server and let's go take a look at our beautiful green hello chat message and if i now hover over it it will say click to welcome and if i click i say welcome and that's it for today's episode. If you have any questions about JSON formatting and anything in that forum post isn't clear, go to the Discord channel, ask your questions over there. I can help you out. Maybe somebody else can too. Uh, we'll see you appear when you want.
Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or questions down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to the Discord channel, which I just mentioned. And you can just ask your questions over there or join the general chat. Doesn't really matter. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.